now in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert long data back into in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert long data into wide data. So we, if you're in the course, we just created DF long here. This is from the data frame Iris. And this now has um, basically one row per property. And so what we want to do is convert this back into wide data. So what we can do is instead of gather, we're going to use kind of it's it's not an inverse function, but kind of its partner function of wide. And we're going to do DF. And we're going to use the function spread. So spread is going to take in the key and the value. And so basically, if you're looking at gather, we now need to give it this property and value. And so if we give it property and value, so what we what this is relating to, if we look at DF long, is the property is going to become our column name. So now we're going to have a column name that's sepal length. And for this index, it's going to have 5.9 there. So we're going to have property and value. And when we run this, oh, yep, it's because I have DF instead of DF long here. There we go. When we run this, we're now going to get DF wide. And you can see we now have species, index, and then we have all of the different um, correct lengths for this. Now, the reason why I say that these are not um, inverse functions, gather and wide are not inverse functions. You can't just run them to enter convert. So what I want to do is I'm going to run um, DF. Uh, I'm going to run DF one. We're going to run DF one long. And we're going to do iris. We're going to pull straight from that original data set. And we're just going to run gather and this exact same function that was up here. So I'm going to run this. And if we run this, we can see this df1 long looks almost the exact same. It's just missing that index function. So now if I try to run df1 wide, and we're basically just going to copy this and add the one to it. DF one long, and then we're going to spread and property value. When we run this, we get error in spread. Each row of an output must be identified by a unique combination of keys. So you actually can't create, you can't undo this now. Um, and it's simply because if we look at this DF one long, it doesn't know because this is the key. The species is the key. It literally doesn't know which of these sepal length, sepal widths, all of those things go back together. So that's an important thing to realize is that just because you gather doesn't mean you can spread it. You need to always have unique sets of keys for that information. So one way to always do that that I discussed in the gather is when you're gathering, always make sure that you have an index because that index will always be a unique key to a given row.